G'day guys, Hammy Goodman for The Sledge TV here. We thought we'd expand all of your knowledge on all things cricket bat, so what better place to do it than the TNF showroom down here at Abbotsford. I'm here with Michael Sheedy, the, the, the owner of TNF Cricket. Sheedy, thanks for joining us. Thanks Hammy, thanks for having me. Now first things first mate, what are cricket bats made of? Mate, they're all made of uh, English willow, um, and there is a, a cashmere willow as well, which is used in the, the cheaper bats, uh, generally for kids. Fantastic. And I suppose the first thing, what's, what's the best way to go about preparing your cricket bat? Mate, it's pretty simple. So times haven't changed in regards to the way we prepare our cricket bats. It's all about making sure that we give them a couple of good coats of uh, raw linseed oil, um, and then generally it's about knocking them in. So that process of hardening up the timber um, so that they're ready for play. Fantastic. And obviously, the age of 2020 cricket has changed the way that bat makers such as, you've, as yourself have got to uh, you know, adapt and, and keep your bats up to date. So how has the, the shape and the way that we make cricket bats changed as a result of 2020 cricket? Uh, no doubt that uh, everyone wants a bigger bat and they want it to be lighter. So obviously that we can swing the bat faster. Um, it is generally, the shapes themselves have changed a lot over time, but we've gone back to the traditional shape now, which is as much wood in the bat as what we can possibly get, but making sure it still picks up extremely well. Fantastic, and we've had some interesting innovations over the years. You know, we've had lengthened handles, shortened blades, we've had double-sided bats, yep. we've had all sorts of things. Uh, why do you think that those innovations haven't quite worked, and what are some ways we can perhaps look to innovate cricket bats in the future? Look, Hammy, it's a case of, I suppose, just making sure you're always testing what is possible and how you can improve uh, on a cricket bat. Uh, traditionally, though, I think you'll find that it is going back the way that they were always made, and that is obviously the same shape. Um, but we are able to make them bigger and lighter. So um, by actually having the wood dried out a little bit longer um, and making sure that um, you know, they are big in regards to edge sizes, but through the back and having full body backs as much as what we can in order to uh, make sure that they ping, I suppose, and clear the, clear the fence. Fantastic. And what are some of the ways that y your TNF uh, design and shape will differ from that you'll find in other cricket bats? Um, look, shapes are very, very consistent across the board. So it's a case of making sure that we've got nice, um, even feel in regards to our pickup and making sure that there's not too much wood in the bottom of the blade so that it doesn't pick up bottom heavy. Um, consistency throughout the blade though is, is the key in regards to rebound quality. So making sure we've got nice big middles. Now lots made about quality of wood, the colour of the wood and the grains mate. Can you maybe dispel a few rumours about you know the wood, the, the, the colours we'll find and, and of course the grains as well? Yeah for sure. How many, I suppose that the, the number one thing is to look at the actual structure of the grain. So that'll generally indicate as to how long the tree has been growing for. Um, generally English willow trees will grow anywhere between 16 to 18 years. Um, and, and then they'll be cut down. If they are due to demand, if they are cut down a little bit earlier, then they'll have a wider grain. Um, and they're generally graded down lower. So into your grade twos, your grade threes, and your grade fours. Um, making sure that there's a little bit of redwood in the top end bats is generally what is liked. So that's got a little bit more moisture, it's a little bit harder. So having it on the inside edge of the bat is generally what you know, professional cricketers do like to have in their cricket bat. And there's a few different shapes that we've seen in, in some of the cricket bats as well. We've got the full bodies in the back yep. and also a few which have got a bit of a cutaway. Can you talk us through the differences there? Yeah, Hammy, it's a, um, the case of today's cricket is that we want big edges and we want big backs. Um, actually having full bodied backs on all cricket bats is going to be tough. So the lower the grade of timber, the more, t more timber we'll actually have to take out of the back, which is what you call the sculpturing, making sure that it's just cutting the air still really well with an apex, but it's making sure that we can still have really nice pickup and obviously good ping. Cricketers love their cricket bats, there's no question about that. How many bats do you think is about normal for a professional cricketer these days to carry around in their kit bag? Yeah, they'll carry at least 10, um, there's no doubt. And especially if there's a tour coming up, they'll definitely have 10 in their bag. Um, they'll, they're very fussy, which is fair enough, it's the tool of their trade. So making sure that they've got their match bats ready is the key. Some players actually have a test match, a test match bat, a one day bat and a 2020 bat. The 2020 bat might be slightly heavier um, so that they can actually hit it further. Whereas a test match bat, depending upon conditions, um, you know, will be maybe a lower middle if they're playing in the subcontinent, a higher middle if they're playing over here in Australia with a little bit more bouncier wickets. So the players are very, very specific. They know exactly what they want in their career, but. Long handles, small men's handles, uh, what's the difference there? And also we've had some experimentation there as well, carbon handles, what have you, why hasn't that worked and what's the difference with the handles? Yeah, the, um, the 12 piece cane Sarawak uh, cane handle is, is definitely the most traditional handle that we've obviously had and it is what um, I suppose responds best to English willow. So, you know, the carbon days, um, we've had foam handles, we've even had aluminium. Um, they've all been worth a try, but it's all about the feel. So the player 
goes back obviously to the traditional means of a 12 piece cane Sarawak can handle um, and, and which works really well. As far as the long handles go, that's all about leverage. So no different to a golf club, the longer the lever, hopefully the greater the velocity. Uh, making sure that we've got a longer lever with a smaller blade has been tried as well. Um, so the long handle is starting to come back into vogue with the bigger hitting that's going on at the moment. Beautiful. Now, if anyone wants to go and check out some of your new stuff here, Shades, how can they go about doing that? Mate, we're available here in uh, Abbotsford. Uh, we're also online at tnfcricket.com. We're happy to, uh, to talk cricket bats any time of the day. Shades, thanks very much for your time today. There you go, Sledge viewers. Now you know all there is to know about cricket bats. Mm -hmm.